Um, I'm Jordan Collins. My name is Louis Olsar. And this is our mock advert presentation. So, um, in, to introduce the product, the, uh, the focus of our product was a, uh, a Nike basketball shoe, which is based on a particular basketball player called Kobe Bryant. He brought out a shoe named the Kobe 9 Hero, so that's the products we decided to choose. The reason we chose that sort of shoe was because it was a high top and it offers it's, we're a beneficial shoe for the basketball game and it helps you in a lot of situations in basketball, i.e. attacking the basket, dunking, forming crossovers, and all that stuff. Uh, our audience, the demographic for the product will be most suited for young adults aged 16 to 24 years. We've chosen this age as we feel that this target audience will be most aware of the product that we're, that's within our advert. Uh, the geo demographic for our advert is the south of England, where people reside in more affluent areas, where that basically means where they live in like bigger houses and they've got bigger income. Uh, the socio-economic groups for our advert are B and C1. Uh, we chose these socio-economic groups because we feel that um, the product that's being advertised is a more high-end product, so it'll be more expensive, so they'll have the income to purchase. And the psychographic for the product is the Aspirers. Um, this psychographic uh, seek status, which means their lifestyle is based around their image, persona, fashion, appearance. So therefore, seeing these trainers on their role models um, will inspire them to buy them and be like them. So the style of our advert. The aim of the advert was to be kind of a dramatic advert because we thought that that would gain our audience's attention the best out of all the types we could have picked from. Um, it will portray a sort of journey, so basically what we were going to try and go for was the guy starting off bad, you know, he doesn't have the trainers, obviously he gets them, he physically and mentally becomes more positive, and we decided he eventually ends up in the NBA, which is the National Basketball Association. Um, this involves the correct footwear, hours of practice, and a lot of self-belief. The form of the advert was a narrative slash documentary. Um, we did a narrative advert because it helps portray the message easier. Um, it portrays that we've got the latest footwear um, and it psychologically gives you the aspiration to believe and succeed. So yeah, that's the central message. It can help you physically, mentally, uh, and it can make you a better person. How does it appeal to our target audience? The desired outcome for the advert was to get people to buy the product, obviously. Um, we want to promote self-belief within our target audience so they can work out and achieve the set goals within their chosen sport. Our product has solved the problem of helping our target audience improve within their sport, which is basketball. Furthermore, our product will give our target audience a better social position as their friends will see them within these trainers and it will make them popular within the pair group. So, how does it compare to other similar adverts? Well, having, having done some research throughout the uh, Nike Basketball YouTube channel, we figured that our advert has a slight, you know, uh, unique edge compared to most Nike adverts. Uh, we decided to focus on um, the product because you know we have a wide, wider range of knowledge about the shoe and we know what we were talking about so that's why we decided to choose Nike as a brand. Uh, BCAP codes. Our advert would need to keep within the guidelines of BCAP code 3.4. Uh, 
BCAP code 3.4 is known as buffer, puffery, even, um, which basically is trying not to over exaggerate what the product can do for our target audience. So, therefore, we need to make sure that it doesn't mislead the audience into thinking that it's just the trainer that will help improve the game. Um, it takes hours of practice and self belief that they can achieve. Last but not least, thank you for your time and do you have any questions? Anyone? No? I think you've already covered this, but what... Remember Maslow's hierarchy? Where might it come up on there? Triangle one. Um. You can't think of the category. You can't think of the category. Self perception. Because, um, like I say, the advert, it focuses on. What we're trying to gain from the advert is make you feel and make you feel better as a person. And on the Maslow thing, self perception is kind of how you're, how you're viewed in public, how you're seen, how you're perceived by everybody else. So. What the shoes are trying to achieve from that, you know, is to make you achieve those things, you know. So it's trying to make you feel better, make you feel more positive, and therefore improve your life on and off the court. Okay. Regarding your mock up, um, aside from the fact there was no sound, we'll forget that. Okay, don't worry about that. But in regard to your mock up, what changes are you going to make for your actual real thing? Um, obviously, you saw a mock up advert and the one sound as you said but yep. for advert we want to as Lewis stated before we want to like start off where he's not wearing the shoes his game's really bad people are getting on his back and when he gets the shoes he starts making shots and towards the end of the advert he starts getting faster paced there's more cuts within the advert and then the last shot will be where he shoots a three pointer and then as it goes in it turns and it turns out he's in front of an NBA crowd Right, I'd like to add on that. One big thing what we may have missed out is you notice that the shoes I'm wearing there are not actually the product. So obviously in the real deal we'll obviously throw in the actual trainers themselves. Do you have do you have them? I do, yeah. I okay. do have them so we're solid, yeah. Good. Okay. Nice one. Give them a round of applause guys, welcome.